views coming north from Oak Creek to Sedona are just beautiful. Oh, we can ignore that. We're going straight. Here we're going to turn on to 89A and that's going to take us to Jerome, Cottonwood and ultimately Sedona then Flagstaff. Apparently another beautiful stretch of Arizona Highway. So we've entered the Mingus Mountains Scenic Highway on 89A, just south of Jerome. I've been following this uh, Pan American in front of me for a while. It's an older guy, he's wearing shorts, dockers, no socks, and a t-shirt. I guess we should be glad he has a helmet on. It's, uh, it's pre-country, you can do what you want, but be out here on these twisty, Desert mountain roads and shorts, flip flops, and a t shirt. It's not for me, that's for sure. But another beautiful stretch of road here. Sorry, I couldn't, couldn't take those guys anymore. The truck pulled off, but that. Uh, Pan-American was still taking his time, which good for him. If you're not wearing any clothes, I wouldn't uh, take any chances either, I guess. Uh, not that I'm taking chances, but I'd go pretty slow too if I was wearing shorts while riding. Again, no judgment. It's just not for me. I will say I put the uh, EBC brake pads on the bike while I was uh, at my daughter's father-in-law's shop and uh, man, they're awesome. Stopping on a dime. I'm also grateful for uh, my model has the uh, extra caliber, the three caliper, three piston brake system in the front instead of the two that the normal bikes get. So. I'm really grateful for that too. Wow! Wow! Hopefully that shows. I, I know it's in the distance and the GoPro usually doesn't pick it up, but we just rounded that hill and there's Sedona off in the distance. The red rocks, the gorgeous purples and all the different colors. All right, I gotta focus on the road here, but wow was that. What a surprise. Wow. These Arizona highways do not disappoint. Here ends this part of the scenic highway. Yep, there's Sedona off in the distance. My word. My word. Woo. That is something. That is something. And Jerome just sits here and overlooks it. So it looks like this uh, old mining town of Jerome is really built in the side of a really steep hill. It just winds through here. Kind of a cool old town here. I heard this has become quite popular. My museum. Town hall. Okay, we're entering Sedona. 
There she is, Red Rocks. This is the outskirts of town. Can't wait till we really get into it. Yeah, we're getting into Sedona now. She's beautiful. It is a spectacular town. If you've never been here, it's it's everything the pictures are and more. It's one of those places like the Grand Canyon that the pictures just don't seem to do it justice because it can't really capture the scale of everything. I think we're gonna take a little detour here on 179 to a place I know I've been to before. It's kind of nice. And then we'll work our way back to Flagstaff. We're in no rush today. Well, here we are, internet. Came down to the village of Oak Creek. I think it's about 20 or 30 miles south of downtown Sedona because I really like this spot. It's the uh, beginning of the hiking trail or the observation point for Bell Rock, which is that one. But there's just, the panoramas here are just amazing. I hope you can get it all in. What a view, huh? It's just 360 here. It really is just gorgeous, gorgeous view. It's worth the drive down here from Sedona to Oak Creek. A lot of times uh, when we come here with the family, we stay in Oak Creek. So, pretty familiar with this spot. Great hiking trails out this way where it's Kind of fly, takes you around that way. So, really, just a, a hell of a view, and it's really panoramic and much less crowded than the, the points of interest around downtown Sedona. It really is just gorgeous. So, that's Oak Creek, 20, 30 miles, I don't know, or so uh, south of downtown Sedona on uh, Highway 179. I'm gonna go enjoy the view, have a drink, stretch out. Thanks for coming with me. Wow. Amazing. These coming north from Oak Creek to Sedona are just beautiful. We can ignore that. We're going straight. Here we are leaving Sedona on 89A still, headed towards Flagstaff. That'll be our final stop for today. Sedona is, yeah, look at this bridge here we're gonna go over. Old school, got the rivets in it and everything. Midgley Bridge. Ooh. All right, that's something. Okay, so the 89A out of Sedona towards Flagstaff follows the Oak Creek, which has been to my right this whole time in this beautiful, beautiful valley. I don't know if you can see just 
up on both sides is just incredible that we're down here near the, the river or the creek which is just down below me on the right here can't really see it and just these incredible rock formations is really close it's this really tight little valley here and it looks like it follows it most of the way to Flagstaff which is about 30 miles well it's one lane traffic here but I wanted to show you while I have a chance look at the GPS look at the curves that's I'm really looking forward to seeing what this looks like uh, it is one lane traffic so it'll be a little slower but man look at those curves huh and these views continue we're about uh, 15 to 17 miles outside Sedona so less than 15 a little over 10 to Flagstaff from here where we're at oh they're working on the bridge Okay, well that's good. We want the bridge to be in good condition, don't we? We certainly do. Yeah, look at these curves. Woo. So excited. Okay, continuing on our journey towards Flagstaff, still on 89A, wow, look at, oh man, what a view down there. Uh, look at that. Amazing. Okay, we're just about to drop down into Flagstaff. What a gorgeous day today's been. Really has been just amazing all day long. It's really what these trips are all about. So I think we're only a few minutes away from the hotel and I think I will once again sign off here while we're still in the forest uh, thank you for joining me today thank you for sticking with me through all the mechanical troubles we seem to have in the last episode i uh, just really felt better about getting back out on the road once i was confident with what was going on in the bike you don't want to head into no man's land with uh, doubts today's been amazing what a what an amazing journey I hope uh, that the parts of it I've been able to share with you have been interesting. If it has been, please give this video a like. If you like this kind of content, please subscribe below and uh, you'll be notified when I post new content. I plan on keeping this trip going for a while. We'll see what we can do. Thanks so much. I'll see you next time.